Hey guys, are you having trouble deciding which password manager to use? You see, most of the popular ones out there aren't free. And nowadays, it's not surprising to see so many data breaches happening more than ever before. So I've never been a fan of password managers. Until now. And that's because if you have a Google account, you already have a password manager available to you for free. Just head to passwords.google.com, sign in with your Google account, and you'll find that this already does most, if not everything, that all other password managers are doing. First of all, the most obvious benefit of using this is the auto sign in feature. You can completely skip filling out usernames and passwords for any website. And because this is tied to your Google account, you can skip logins using Google Chrome on your phone if that account is synced. So I'm a big fan of using this feature because it's not just used for websites. For example, the GameStop credentials saved to my account from the browser can also be used to automatically sign in using the app on my Android. Pretty cool, but there's a lot of other benefits as well. How many times have you seen phishing emails in your inbox? Well, guess what? If you accidentally click these malicious links, this wouldn't trigger the password manager to automatically sign you in. And that's because the URL of the website won't be correct in the first place. So if there's no easy way to sign in, that tells you to stop right there. Next, don't underestimate the benefit of having the password manager generate a password for you. And this means a couple of things. First of all, you don't have to go through the trouble of creating a password yourself. And this is amazing, especially since we're being told over and over that it can't just be alphanumeric and it needs to be long enough. Also, the password manager won't ever generate the same password twice. And this is really important because most of us use the same passwords many times for all of our accounts. Hey, even I've done it, but that's not all. By using Google's password manager, you can also opt into 2FA or two-factor authentication. And what this does is pretty much any time you are about to access those passwords, you can force Google to ask one of your device pins and you can use any one of your devices for this. This way, if any of your devices ever get compromised or stolen, you have the power to take away that access at any time. Next, there's a password checkup tool that Google provides, which is truly underrated because it can analyze your passwords and see if any of them have been compromised. So this is one way you can sleep at night knowing you're not impacted by any data breaches. And it also gives you an understanding of how strong all of your passwords are. By the way, there's another interesting feature that Google Password Manager offers, and that's on-device encryption, which basically turns your device into an encryption key. And that encryption key is then used to lock the passwords before they're even saved but I don't know if I'd ever recommend this to anyone because if you ever lost your device, say goodbye to those passwords forever. So if you've ever been under the fear of having your password stolen under the hands of these password managers, try to keep in mind that at the end of the day, only you can see these credentials. And again, I definitely recommend that you use tools like 2FA because this forces you to use your device, like a smartphone, to authenticate each login. And this is obviously much more secure than just handing over your credentials blindly. So hopefully this helped you break down what Google Password Manager offers and why I think it's a great tool if you're just looking to do this for free. Thanks for watching. And for more on password managers or security in general, please consider subscribing to this channel. Thank you.